Twin has been working with smallholder farming groups for nearly 30 years, with the aim of ensuring that producers receive a secure and fair income for what they grow. We examine the flow of groundnuts from farmer to consumer, highlighting areas of concern in order to improve quality and create positive changes in the value chain. Part of Twin's approach has been the establishment of Afrinut, a peanut processing plant in Lilongwe, Malawi, in association with the National Smallholder Farmers Association of Malawi, NASFAM, farming organization Exagris, the Waterloo Foundation, and international development organization Cordaid. And the reason we're, we're here, why we set up the company, is to reach the export market. This would bring much better value to smallholder farmers. Our ultimate aim is to get into the European market, but food regulations are very tough there. So for the time being, and maybe for the first one or two years, the main concentration is going to be the South African market, where there is a big shortage of peanuts. And we also hope to be able to supply various products, maybe RUTF paste or peanut butter, into the regional markets. Ready-to-use therapeutic foods, or RUTFs, are energy-dense foods used to treat severely malnourished children. The use of peanut paste brings essential proteins, vitamins and fats to the product. Accessing international markets is just part of the challenge Twin and its partners face, which the Southern African Trade Hub and Difford Malawi are supporting. One of those programmes was the Business Innovation Facility, which has provided some support to AfriNut um, to, to basically identify sources of groundnuts um, that were aflatoxin free in order to, in, to get into the export market. Um, this, um, this led us to consider what else we could do to support the groundnut sector. At the same time, the government was putting in place a, a, a national export strategy um, and it's been a very uh, holistic and consultative process to work out what to do to support uh, priority clusters that can get Malawi away from dependence on maize as a food crop and uh, tobacco as a cash crop. Um, and they've identified oil seeds and sugar and manufacturers as the three priority clusters. And Difford Malawi is very interested to support the uh, oil seeds cluster. Um, we think that there is huge scope for that sector to account for a much larger proportion of the country's exports as well as imports. Um, and we also think that it has a great value as a, as a source of nutrition uh, for the majority of Malawians um, as a food crop. Uh, we recognise that aflatoxin is, is, a, is an issue um, and we think that the oilseeds uh, sector strategy um, can respond to that challenge um, through uh, greater collaboration between the various stakeholders in the sector. Um, we think it's important not only to drive aflatoxin out of the export value chain, but also drive aflatoxin, which is a, a major public health concern, um, out of the informal value chain um, in order to uh, reduce stunting in kids under five and to restore groundnuts to, to being a, a genuinely nutritional uh, benefit to, to the majority of Malawians. One of the concerns that we have is that, yes, we are exporting to Europe and other parts of the world material that has been tested and is aflatoxin-free. But most of the time, the local market does not demand testing for aflatoxin. So our suspicion and our, our fear is that we, we are feeding our own populations with material that is infected. And that's something that we need to address very, very quickly. So the focus of the study that we, uh, that we funded, that was conducted by TWIN, was to look at alternative economic uses for non-compliant nuts um, and shells um, in order to um, try and encourage uh, consumers to um, divert contaminated nuts into potential income earning opportunities such as uh, making briquettes or turning uh, contaminated nuts into oil, into oil or animal feed. Um, in order to prevent the nuts going into the domestic, into the human food chain. Women's role in, in groundnut production is, uh, is significant 
But uh, because women have multiple responsibilities in the homes, sometimes they do not have time to you know, make sure that the groundnuts that they're producing is properly graded and things like that. So that's why we want to make sure that we have interventions that target women in such a way that uh, uh, women will find it rewarding as well as easier to produce groundnuts. Twin and Nasfam are working together on a DFID-funded Global Poverty Action Fund project with the aim of better understanding which changes to groundnut production will most benefit women and their communities. One of the Millennium Development Goals was to halve the proportion of people who suffer from hunger between 1990 and 2015. The main focus of this work has been increasing the amount of food available to those who need it most. When um, households consume any foods that they produce or they buy, it is important that the food is not, just, it's not only available, but it is available in a safe and in a way that's going to provide nu good nutrition to them. So Malawi as a country um, has been focusing on nutrition but specifically food safety is an upcoming issue that uh, the government is uh, keen to look at, although there are a few initiatives at the moment looking at food safety, but there's a realization in the country that food safety is a key aspect of food security. And so, uh, as such, it is important that food programs or interventions targeted at food improving food security also have an aspect of uh, food nutrition and food safety. We believe that in the post 2050 environment when we're looking at food security and nutrition and malnutrition when we're looking at um, increasing food production for uh, a, a growing um, global population that we shouldn't just be focusing on increasing food production but we should be looking at food safety we should be looking at improving post-harvest handling systems storage we should be uh, working with farmers as well as consumers to inform people about food safety and we believe that our work in, with aflatoxin is critically important in terms of um, informing both the farmers but also policy makers on, on how to address food safety as well as food security.